Tonight, investigators are actively working to find a motive in the Makokota murders. Three family members died in what appears to be a random act of violence. The suspected gunman is also among the people who are dead, and more will be revealed once the autopsies are complete. That report is expected to come out this week. While they wait, DCI agents are pouring through evidence. KCCI's Kayla James is in the newsroom with what comes next in the investigation, Kayla. Yeah, Ray, like you said, investigators are putting the pieces together. Agents tell us they can't share much because it's an ongoing investigation. But a former FBI special agent tells us what could happen next. Even when we have a murder where the suspect is dead himself, we still investigate as if it was going to go to trial. Retired FBI Special Agent Michael Tabin says Iowa investigators will go beyond searching through Makokota Cave State Park, like looking into the suspect, Anthony Sherwin. They're also going to be uh, getting search warrants for his residence, for his communications, his computer, cell phone. Tabman is not involved in the case, but KCCI spoke with the Iowa DCI on Tuesday. Investigators say Sherwin didn't have any sort of criminal history. Tabman says that can tell a lot about a suspect. It doesn't appear that this suspect had a message he wanted to get out. Investigators still haven't shared what was used to kill Sarah, Tyler, and Lula Schmidt. They have a suspect who's dead. They have a place to start looking. It'll probably go a little quicker but you still want to wait for the autopsy. Which is being handled by the state medical examiner's office in Ankeny, both on the Schmidt family and Sherwin. Tabin says in cases like this, where the suspect dies, what an autopsy reveals can be critical. Was it by a homicide? Was it self-inflicted? And they can determine that from, again, the forensics that you see on television, trajectory, a gunpowder residue on the hand, uh, where the body fell. And Tabman says one of the worst moves investigators can make is giving out information too soon, which is why he says waiting for the autopsy report is key before moving in any direction with the case.